MRCEM OSCE course. Preparatory for the Royal College of Emergency Medicine. UK OSCE exam. Website www.mrcemoscecourse.com. Facebook page MRCEM OSCE course. Hello, my name is Dr. Hassan Abdurrahman, one of the MRCEM OSCE course instructor. Today I'm going to talk about back pain history station. I'm sure that we are facing this complaint from the patients in frequent basis in the emergency department. But for the purpose of the exam, we have to follow systemic approach. So like this, we will not miss any underlying cause of the back pain. So written outside in your task that patient came to the emergency department after they having a back pain, please take history from the patient and give management plan. Now we have to see the pie chart, the breakdown of the marks. And also we have to think about differential diagnosis. What is the cause of the back pain? Which will be addressed when, when we are coming inside. Now you are coming inside, you will find the examiner and the patient. Greet the examiner and then approach to your patient. Introduce yourself. Confirm patient identity by asking their name and age. Re-establish chief complaint that they came to the emergency department having back pain. Take a consent that you are going to take history regarding their presentation. Chaperon, check level of comfort and prescribe analgesia. Now we should address the back pain. You can start with open question with the patient. Ask them what brought them to the emergency department. Then ask about the site of the pain. It is back pain, but give opportunity to the patient to give more details about the specific location of the pain. Is it in the lower back or in the middle? Ask about the onset of the pain, character, and radiation as well. Here radiation is very important for us. Ask about exacerbating or any factors which provoke the pain, make it worse any positions relieving the pain or if the patient has been taken in analgesia outside and what was the effect of this analgesia let the patient score the pain now after this we have to ask about the red flags of the back pain in the emergency department we have several concern or several pathology which having a red flag so here we have to ask about these signs and symptoms which call red flag regarding the back pain. So we have to ask about the bladder or bowel dysfunction. Ask if the patient is having any disturbed gait or subtle anesthesia. What do we mean by subtle anesthesia? That patient have a loss of sensation in the buttock and the perineal area. Ask about signs and symptoms of bilateral sciatical symptoms and or if the patient having any progressive neurological deficit severe weakness or numbness in the extremities these signs and symptoms which i mentioned before this is related to caudequina syndrome which is vitally important pathology which we don't want to miss to be missed in the emergency department so other causes it might be tumor so the age of the patient from the beginning will give us a clue if the age is less than 20 or more than 50. Plus, we have to ask about the patient. Uh, we have to ask the patient about any weight loss if they experience any, any weight loss, or if they having any thoracic pain, chest pain. This will raise the possibility of the tumor that the back pain might be due to tumor. And regarding the age, if the age is less than 20, this is, as I mentioned before, it can raise the possibility of tumor plus ankylosing spondylitis. Other causes of back pain, it might be spinal infection. So we have to ask about the fever, temperature, and the nature of the pain in the spinal infection, the pain worse at night time. Ask about trauma, if the patient had an RTA or the patient raised any heavy object or left any heavy object. 
Also, if the patient is elderly, ask about the fall, maybe the cause of the back pain. Also, we have a possibility of abdominal aortic aneurysm. But for this abdominal aortic aneurysm to be addressed, we have to ask in the past medical history. This will keep it for the last. Plus, we have to make a proper examination to the patient for palpable abdominal mass or if the patient having any previous vascular problem. So like this, we address all the red flags, which, which might be the cause of the back pain. Let's recap again. We have a caudic wine syndrome. So we have to ask about bladder or bowel dysfunction. We have to ask about the disturbed gait and subtle anesthesia. We have to ask about bilateral sciatical symptoms and any progressive neurological deficit. Tumors, we have to ask about the weight loss, any thoracic pain, and the age of the patient might give us a clue. Spinal infection, we have to ask about fever and pain, which worst at night time. And ask about trauma and fall in elderly. So like this, we cover all the aspects of the red flags. Remember, red flag is very important here to be asked in the in this station because in the marking sheet with the examiner they they have a place that for ticking uh, if you mention any one of these red flag after that we have to ask about the past medical history if the patient is having hypertension or if there is any family history or any previous problem of tumors which might raise the possibility that this patient having a tumor. Then we have to ask about the past surgical history, ask about medication and allergy, ask about social history. Then came to the conclusion about the ideas and concern and expectation of the patient. Concern of the patient and expectation particularly here, we mean by that, that the patient is coming to the emergency department expecting from us to do for the, for the patient himself specific investigation. Appreciate the, their concern and their expectation. Now it is time to give to the patient the conclusion of this history taking, that which conclusion you came with at the end. Because the management plan it will be built up according to the diagnosis or query diagnosis that you came with at the end. If the patient having, for example, a red flag, so we have to deal total opposite if the patient, if the patient have no red flag. So for example, if the patient that having a red flag of cow equina syndrome. So here the management plan will be that this patient should be in, will be kept in the hospital. We should do an urgent MRI for the patient. Then after that, we will refer the patient to the specific specialty, spinal surgery, for example, for possible surgery, surgical decompression. If the patient having a just simple back pain with no red flag, so the management plan here will be that the patient should be well analgized prior to, to be discharged at home. Give the patient instruction that they should continue or they should continue their daily life without any prolonged bed rest. And also we should give them a written plan or a written sign and symptoms for which if they develop it, they should come back to the emergency department. We should give them a paper with all this red flag and we should instruct them to come back if they develop any one of these sign and symptoms. Give opportunity for the patient to ask questions and answer their questions appropriately so like this we cover all the aspects related to back pain and thank you